up, Apex Nation? Welcome back to some more Creativerse. Hope you guys are having a great day. All right, last time we built ourselves a square bow, a square gazebo. Ain't the worst thing in the world. Now, <gasps> who are you and why are you? Goodbye. And uh, <laughs> I don't know what we're doing today. <laughs> uh, I guess fill like all this in the top level here with like grass and mushrooms and bushes, that sort of thing. Just fill it around, kind of fluff this place up, and then maybe work on that. I'm not entirely sure what to do. I have all these stumps, which is going to be annoying to build. I'm going to hate. Alright, uh, that stumps, um, the roots, roots to build, which again, like I said, I'm going to hate doing that. But we got to do it. We have to, does this game have middle mouse? No. It'd be cool if I could look at that, press middle mouse button and get it since I'm in creative mode. Instead of having to go here and type tall, and get tall grass. Uh, the mushroom is one thing we use, and then we get rid of this, and then we go to retro, right? Yeah. We get the little flower boy, we get the little bitey boy, we get bushy boy, we get the little star boy. I didn't use stomp statue, did I? Did I use stompy boy? I did not use stompy boy. Uh, star, that, that, that. Okay, yeah, we have it all. The first thing we do is the grass. Copy this grass and just start planting some grass around. What can we talk about? We gotta talk about something, right? Let's think of a good topic to talk about as we do this sort of thing. Good talk. <laughs> Uh, I started watching a very, very weird series on Netflix, and I, I, uh, I will say viewer discretion advised. Oh, uh, eh, eh, nope, eh, and then back to that one. It's called uh, Food Wars. Sub, 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 Food Wars anime and um it's a little too uniformed it's um it's show <laughs> i watched like three episodes of it it was funny to me i didn't watch it for no reason besides it was funny to me and i just wanted to check it out i'm like how would a food anime do i know there was like torkoal or something like that i forgot what it was called that basically Goku went around and got a bunch of food and had to go kill monsters and all that to get the the ingredients. I remember that one. Oh, wrong. I'm pretty sure I just used basic old mushrooms. Yes, I did. I remember that one. But I was like, I wonder how like a food war show would do. Like, is it going to be like competition based or whatever? And I haven't really gotten that far. So far, it's more like they don't really care too much about the cooking aspect of it as they care about the moaning aspect of it, if you get what I'm saying. If you watched it, you know what I'm saying. Where the food is so good, your shirt pops open and your skirt rides up. <laughs> it's so weird. Now, there's actually, like, no, like, full-on nudity, but it's all 100% implied. And when they do show what would you consider nudity, it's more, it's mostly um, censored, would say. There's no uh, parts. We'll say that. It's just all skin. No parts. Parts have been removed. But it's hilarious. 
If you look at it as a joke, it is hilarious. It's like 24 episodes. I'm hoping it gets better. Because if it's just how it is right now, it's going to get boring. It's going to get, oh, it's the same. Oh, look at this. Someone messed up their food dishes. And all of a sudden, he had to get creative because he's a person that actually ran a restaurant, not just off their daddy's money. And then, oh, look, he did really well. Now people hate him for doing super well. Oh, look, all the girls are moaning because they ate his food and popping out of their clothes. It's, you know, that's going to be very, very boring if that's how it keeps going. But I'm hoping it changes. Hoping it gets better. Hoping there's actually some story, more story to it. I thought it was going to be. I thought, like, he's going to have to be... Well, I don't want to spoil it too much, but yeah, I thought. Oh, I have not been putting things over here. Oh, that's okay. I'll put that over here. I thought there'd be more to it, and there still might be. I remember, like the one thing the dad said was, "One thing that'll make you a better cook, son, is finding that woman who will drive you to become a better person." Not just a cook, but a better human altogether. I was like, okay, so there might be a little bit of love interest here and there, and... So far, no. Yeah, our lights. That's right, these were our lights. Nice. Doop, doop, doop. So it was weird. Then I also watched... Might as well just stay with Netflix, right? I also watched a, um, really, I, I absolutely love the horror movie called Sinister. It's such a good horror movie. If you haven't watched it, highly recommend you watch it. It's the only movie in very recent times that got me. That made me go, oh, okay. You know, like a jump scare. Normally movies don't get me. And movies are way too predictable. They don't ever get me. All that good stuff. This one did. This one. This one got me. And even like watching it last night, I was like, "Oh, this is the part. This is the part that got me." Still got me. I still got spooked, even though I knew that part was coming. It's still like, "Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is." But it's so well done. It's so well done that part. I don't want to spoil it or even say it if you're going to watch If you're going to watch the movie, I don't want to say it like the, what the part is. Just watch it. It's a fun movie. It's a horror movie, so you know, viewer discretion advised, all that good stuff. Do do do. Oh, we're listening to the video game study lounge. Yeah, I knew that was gonna do that. Oh, then I can't do that. But I can do something like this. Yeah. I uh, will listen to the video game study lounge 24 7 live stream. Alright, 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 alright. That little plant's gonna eat that bush. We're looking good on bushes. I'll put like a bush or two over here. That's good. I don't want to overdo it on bushes. Well, that didn't take long. Oh, we actually have no bushes. Over yeah. No connected. Got no bushes over here. Gotta get some bushes over there. Looking good. I actually want to see this place at night now with all the stars and see how well it's lit up. Maybe I gotta throw some more stars around. I think I do. We ain't got nothing over here. I have to throw one there as well. I kind of want to throw one there, but I can't. Are they floaty? No, they're touching the ground.
I just I just want this place lit up you now at night. Do I have stars here at all? I do. Right there. Okay. Cool. Did I have anything else? Just tall grass. The same color as that? You are. Just in the shadow. Okay. Mushrooms. Plants. Da, 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 da. What are you? How come you're... That's how turnips look. Wait, cabbage. That's how turnips look? They look like they don't have any color to them at all. Well, I mean, they're brown, but should the leaves be brown? And they're not. I, I try to just color them. Turnips. Turn. Oh, I'll you. Yeah. They should look like that. You do not. I don't know if that's a bug, a render issue on my issue on my part, or what. I have no idea. Look at this. It's pretty cool, man. I am happy with this build so far. The square bow looks out of place, but you know what? I'm okay with it. I can't do everything with the red and white. I had to do a little bit of green. A little bit of green from the house, a little bit of green from that. Stupid little buddy. All right, now do I build this back up? I'm not looking forward to the rest of this build. Like we're at that point. Like, I would say the surface is done. The surface is done enough for me. Nope. Hi. Ah, oh, whatever. The surface is done enough for me to take a good picture of it. I guess so. Nice. Whoop. Nice, nice, nice. I'm liking it. But now, oh, I can do stumps and stuff, man. I am not looking forward to stumps and stuff. Listen, I know the buttons to this game. I just choose not to press them. I just need stone. Not that one. I see regular stone. This one? No. This one. Ah! I have found the stone. Pink stone? Nah. Alright, so the idea is to do something like this, or maybe something like this, and then. But I gotta find my cutoff point, which would be. What's with that, like, flying at me? There you go. Flying to my glove, not me. Maybe something like this. Good. Looks different. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Continue that pattern up. The nest is going to overhang off the side anyway, so that will be fine. But it cannot have any empty space in it, otherwise, we're just going to hear mobs constantly. And it's gonna get super annoying just hearing mobs all the time. So I gotta fill it. Which is not the most enjoyable thing in the world. But this is what you gotta do. I was not looking forward to this. And I'm not looking forward to the next couple episodes when we finish up all the stumps. And I don't have time to do it on my own. There's other things I want to get done.
Yeah, that's cool. And then I think I'll just continue this one up at least maybe two more before changing it up. Yeah, that sounds good. We'll bring it up by two. Alright. Uh, today's episode might be a little short. I'm going to do this part on my own. I'm going to build up this peak and then I'll bring you guys back for the final product and probably a wrap up. I didn't have all the world in the time of the world today. And it's going to take a little bit to get this looking good. So I will be back. Actually, I'll probably come back at nighttime and show you guys what the place looks like at night because I do want to see what that looks like at night. All right, I'll be back. We are back. <laughs> and this place looks pretty dang cool, man. I think it's uh, over here needs a little bit of light action. Something like right there. I think it's lit up pretty good. And there's a little places here and there that need a little bit of action, a little bit of light action. You know what I'm saying? Maybe something over here I didn't even think about over here. This is pretty well not lit, but can I put one like on here? It looks stupid, but if I do it like there, it doesn't look stupid. I didn't even think about it. I could do that. I could just put them on there. Yeah, look at that. Not bad. Okay. We need one like over here. That's fine. Maybe one there. Maybe one up here. Yeah, I'm okay with all this. Uh, maybe put one up there. Gonna give that a little bit more light. I like it. Now back to building that. We are back. And I don't have music going. Uh, why can't I do that anymore? Why am I thinking my jigger not working the way it used to work? <laughs> Whee! Anyway, I say, well, stupid thing. I would say we accomplished something today. Right? We got the rest of the grass done. Like, this is... That piggy's just resting on the start. This is done. The top is now officially done. And we have the... This is the foundation for the next build. Next part. Does that little thing have a shadow? I thought you could turn that stupid guy... Ah! Like, wasn't there a thing... That... Disabled. Like... Wasn't that a thing? He's there. Game settings. Gameplay. Disable. Is he gone? So I gotta toggle that? With, with, okay. Brandon, you gotta toggle. Yeah, there it is. It's not gone. Wait, if I turn my light off. Well, we'll zoom around here for a little bit. <gasps> cool. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. We have our platform for our next build, which would be a route that comes down. How did I do the roots? They come right off of this. They do. Okay. So it would be a route that comes down right off of this. And then hugs this, like wraps around, maybe comes back up a little bit. And then this side maybe comes down, and that side like wraps around. And then maybe it's traversable, but not really. I don't really want to look like it's traversable. Actually, no, the root was supposed to come down, hug this, and then come up around the rim to make it like a little bit more sturdy. And then this root can come down here and spread down this way. No, it looks like the root split into two paths, and one wrapped around going up, and one just went down the side. That would look pretty cool. Then, I, of course, I have to spill down here a little bit. Oh, God. I, uh, might just look like a mess. It's my only issue. 
We'll see. That's next episode is building this route. And then I got to build the rest. I mean, I got one, two, three, four, five more of these routes to build. Ugh. But then we get to work on Tentacle Bridge, which is going to be here. That connects over there. Somewhere. I don't know. We'll figure it out. That's for a later project. I gotta think more about this one. I like the way this came out. This came out great. It looks natural-ish. I can't complain about it. It looks pretty good. Then we gotta put a nest on top. Castle Iron Fist. And, uh, yeah. Once we do that, it looks good. Giant nest to whatever <laughs> it would be that is in there. I am not building a giant bird up in the sky. We might make a big egg if we can. We could try to build a big egg in there. We'll see. We gotta build the nest first. And the trunk's gotta be pretty thick that goes around to give this a little bit more of a... a little bit more support to it. I think that's gonna be pretty good. Yeah, it's good height. I was worried about the height. I didn't want to go too high because the higher I got, the skinnier it's gotta go. Because, you know, higher mountains get, skinnier they get. But that looks pretty good. It doesn't go to a point because we're building on top of it. There's no reason to put a point there just to delete it later. But alright, we have next episode set up to do this. And um, we're done with this one. I definitely don't have time to dive into that project today. I should next episode though. That's the plan. Next episode is this. But I hope you guys did enjoy this one. And if you did, hit that thumbs up button and show your support. If you're new and you haven't, subscribe for more content. Feel free to share this video and comment down below. And until next time, I'm Apex Reaper. You all stay positive. Thanks for watching. Afraid of the dark? Are you scared?